Hi, I'm Alex with Carter Products. If you've ever wanted to cut a circle or a bulb blank accurately, the circle cutter is definitely the way to go from Carter Products. Now, this will fit just about any bandsaw, and if it doesn't, if your table goes all the way up against the edge, they do have an adapter for you. Now, the circle cutter is very easy to use. It has resting points that are movable so that you can hold your work level. It has a sliding magnetic pivot point so you can bring it back to drop your piece onto the circle cutter. And of course it also has the tape measure so that right here in the hourglass whatever it reads double it and that'll tell you what size circle you're going to cut. It will cut anything from 1 to 48 inches and is probably adaptable to go a little bit larger. But the way that it's adjusted as we loosen these two screws and slide it out, the way that it's adapted to your saw is with these pieces that slide in and out. All right, now on this saw, I've drilled a hole so that it's easier to adapt, but they do sell an adapter for this saw where the table goes right against the frame, but for most saws, it's ready to attach right to the table. All right, now I'm gonna install this and show you how it works. Now. In this case, I just simply drop this right into the hole there. I'm going to line this up, and the main key here is making sure that the pivot point is in line with the tip of the tooth. Remember, tip to tip is going to give you a perfect circle. If it's too far back, it will want to cut out. If it's too far forward, it will want to circle in. So always remember, tip to tip is going to give you a perfect circle every time. Now, it comes with these adapters, as you can see right here. I just simply tighten my wing nut. Now we're ready to go. Let's see what it'll do. All right, now I've attached the circle cutter so that my pivot point is in line with the tooth and everything's set up. Now I want to adjust my tape because we've got a six inch blank here, roughly. So, we're going to bring our tape over so that the zero is right behind the blade. That way, whatever shows up here tells me whatever it shows, this one's showing three inches, that means I'm going to be able to cut a six inch blank. So we'll just adjust that in a little bit better. Snug that up. Bring our pivot point back so that we can drop our blank right on there, just above our work. Plug our saw back in, see what we get. Push in until you feel those two magnets click together, make our turn. Just like that, a perfect blank with a center point. So that means even if you're doing the largest that your lathe can handle, well, now you don't have that lope. You can find the center point and you can get the max that your lathe has. Now, the other nice thing about this is the leftover pieces now become pen blanks instead of basically ending up on the floor with sawdust. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for news, tips, and product update. Follow the link in the description to explore all the great tools that Carter Products has to offer.